Stop. Before you buy another desktop, before you upgrade your Mac, you need to hear this. Because the M5 Mac Mini isn't just another Apple computer. It might be the biggest secret Apple is hiding right now. You've seen the leaks. You've heard the rumors. But the truth behind the M5 Mac Mini runs much deeper and far more disruptive than anyone realizes. This tiny silver box might hold the key to Apple's next revolution. A revolution built not around speed or power, but around something far bigger, intelligence. Because the M5 Mac Mini doesn't just upgrade performance. It changes the entire purpose of what a Mac is supposed to be. And once this machine launches, it could make almost every other Mac, including your expensive Mac Studio, feel instantly outdated. Let's break it down. For years, the Mac Mini has been Apple's quiet achiever. Small, affordable, and reliable. It never got the headlines, but it always got the job done. But that's about to change. Because the M5 chip inside this new model is rewriting the script completely. Let's start at the core, the M5 chip itself. This isn't a small upgrade. Leaks say this chip is so powerful, it borders on unethical. We're not talking about 10% or 20% better speeds. We're talking massive leaps, thanks to one major breakthrough, the neural engine. Apple's M5 isn't just faster, it's smarter. The neural engine inside, it is rumored to feature 20 cores for times more than before. It's not just about CPU and GPU anymore. It's about building an AI supercomputer right inside your desk. Think about what that means. Instant AI image generation. Video editing that renders faster than you can blink. Design tools that react in real time. Powered by local AI, not the cloud. If you're a designer, editor, developer, or creator, this is the first desktop that brings generative AI straight to your workspace. No servers, no internet lag, no privacy risks. Your AI runs locally, faster, safer, and fully under your control. Apple isn't building another chip. They're building the brains of a new computing era. But power like that comes with a cost. The M5 chip will run hotter than any mini before it. And that brings us to the most surprising rumor of all, a new design. Yes, the Mac mini. That same iconic aluminum square might finally be getting a physical transformation. For years, Apple has kept the same simple shape. It's familiar, minimal, and instantly recognizable. But leaks suggest two different models this time. A standard M, 5 Mac Mini, and a mysterious Pro variant. That's where things get interesting. Sources claim the Pro model could be taller, with a darker aluminum finish and a redesigned top plate that doubles as a giant heat sink. Some say it might even include subtle fins for improved passive cooling. Why? Because if Apple really puts the M5 Pro or even M5 Max ships into the Mac Mini, it will need serious cooling power. And that could turn this tiny desktop into something completely new, a Mac Studio killer. Imagine that, a Mac Mini with 90% of the Mac Studio's performance, half the size and a fraction of the price. If that's true, it changes everything. For years, Apple has used the Mac Studio as the go-to machine for professionals. But if the Mini gets anywhere near that performance range, the Studio might not survive the comparison. Why buy a $2,000 tower when a $999 Mini can do almost the same job? This is Apple's quiet revolution. The one they're not shouting about. Because it could eat their own lineup alive. Now let's talk about something every user cares about, ports and connectivity. The Mac Mini has always been a great performer, but its input-output options? Let's be honest, they felt limited. That's changing. The M5 Mac Mini is expected to feature Thunderbolt 5. That's the biggest connectivity leap in a decade. Thunderbolt 5 can potentially double the bandwidth of Thunderbolt 4. That means blazing fast data transfers, external GPU support, and smoother connections to 4K and 8K displays. If you edit videos, manage massive photo libraries, or work with large data sets, this single upgrade could change your workflow completely. Need to connect multiple high-resolution displays? No problem. Need to transfer terabytes of footage in minutes? Done. Thunderbolt 5 makes the M5 Mac Mini not just faster, 
but far more future-proof. And that's just the beginning. It's also rumored to include HDMI 2.1, finally. That gives you native 4K at 120Hz or even 8K output support. If you've been using your Mac Mini with a gaming monitor or a large TV, this upgrade will make a visible difference. Next, there's Wi-Fi 7, the newest networking standard. It's not just faster, it's smarter with lower latency and more reliable performance for crowded environments. For professionals who rely on cloud backups, video conferencing, or live remote collaboration, this is a massive leap. But here's the catch, and it's a big one. Apple might limit some of these upgrades to the Pro version. Yes, you heard that right. The Base M5 Mini might only get one or two Thunderbolt 5 ports, while the Pro could get four. The Pro might also include an SD card reader, something creators have been begging for. Apple's segmentation strategy is alive and well. They'll give you just enough on the base model to tempt you, but hold the real power behind the Pro label. The question is, which one will you wait for? This leads us straight into the Pro versus base debate. Maybe the most important decision Apple buyers will make this year. Let's start with the Base M5 Mac Mini. It's still the everyman's desktop. The compact, efficient machine that fits anywhere and does everything. It's perfect for developers, students, home offices, and media enthusiasts. Expect it to handle 99% of daily tasks without breaking a sweat. Performance-wise, early estimates suggest its CPU alone could rival the current M3 or even M4 powered Mac Studio. That's insane efficiency at a low price. And yes, it's still likely to start around $699 to $749, keeping it as the most affordable Mac desktop. But the real excitement comes with the M5 Pro Mac Mini. This version could be the professional's dream, designed for editors, 3D artists, engineers, and anyone pushing hardware limits. Leaks hint at double the performance core count. Support for up to 128 gigabytes of unified memory and performance metrics approaching the Mac Studio's M5 Max configuration. That memory ceiling is the secret weapon, because once you hit the memory wall on cheaper models, your performance tanks. The Pro version eliminates that bottleneck entirely. And that's why analysts believe the M5 Pro Mac Mini could start between $1,499 and $1,799, still hundreds cheaper than the Mac Studio. If those specs hold true, the Mac Studio's relevance becomes shaky. The M5 Pro Mac Mini would simply offer too much performance for too little space and money. Apple might be creating its own competition. But this story isn't just about hardware. It's about something much bigger. Apple Intelligence, the company's new AI platform. Every Apple device going forward will integrate some form of on-device artificial intelligence. And that's exactly why the M5 chip exists. The M5's neural engine is the gateway. It turns the Mac Mini into a personal AI hub, your private, local, always-on assistant. Imagine this. You start your day, and your Mac Mini automatically summarizes your overnight emails, your schedule, and the latest project updates, all instantly, without sending a single byte of your data to the cloud. You join a video meeting, and the Mac transcribes and summarizes it in real time. You drag photos into an app, and Apple Intelligence instantly sorts, edits, or enhances them, all processed locally. This is the future Apple is building, AI that's private, personal, and local. And that's what sets the M5 apart. It's not just faster, it's fundamentally smarter. It's built to run AI tasks that other computers can't handle without connecting to the internet. This also ties into the Vision Pro. The M5 Mac Mini could act as a local processing partner for your headset, handling complex 3D rendering or AI-driven environments right from your desk. Think of it as the AI brain for your entire Apple ecosystem. The hub where everything, your MacBook, your iPhone, your Vision Pro, your HomeKit, connects and learns together. And because it all happens on device, it's private by design. This is Apple's ace in the hole. While Google and Microsoft push AI through the cloud, Apple is bringing it home, literally. So where does that leave the competition? The PC market can't compete on efficiency. 
Intel and AMD machines still rely on massive cooling systems, large towers, and separate GPUs to reach the same power levels. But those setups draw more energy, take more space, and often cost more when you factor in high-end components. In Kant, RAST, Apple's M-Series chips are unified, CPU, GPU, and neural engine on one piece of silicon, which means no wasted power, no delays, no fragmentation. A custom-built PC might match the M5's raw power, but it'll never match its efficiency or size. And that's before we even talk about Mac OS optimization. The real competition for the M5 Mac Mini isn't PC. It's Apple's own lineup. The MacBook Pro has portability, but you pay a huge premium for that. And the Mac Studio has power, but not portability and not value. The M5 Mac Mini sits right in between small, quiet, affordable, and almost as powerful as the best Macs Apple sells. It's the perfect middle ground, and that's what makes it dangerous, because it quietly threatens to replace both extremes. So, should you wait for it? That depends on what you already have. If you're still using an M, one Mac Mini or older, the jump to M5 will feel revolutionary. Performance will skyrocket, and AI features will transform how you work. It's absolutely worth waiting for. If you own an M2 or even an M4 Mac Mini, you might want to hold out for the Pro version. The base M5 might not justify a full upgrade, but the M5 Pro's expanded memory and ports definitely could. And if you already have a Mac Studio, things get tricky because the M5 Mini might match your performance for less than half the price. If that happens, the Studio could lose its place entirely. That's why Apple is being so quiet about the M5. It's not just another release. It's a product that could disrupt Apple's entire desktop lineup. We're looking at what might be the most important Mac of the next decade. A compact inteligência artificial supercomputer desguised as a mini. A device that blurs the line between desktop, workstation, and intelligent assistant. The M5 Mac Mini isn't just a hardware refresh. It's a statement. It's Apple saying, the era of AI computing starts here. And this time, the revolution doesn't come in a laptop or a headset. It comes in a silent silver box that sits quietly under your screen, changing everything you do without making a sound. That's the full picture of what we know so far. The leaks, the logic, the performance, and the promise. But the biggest question still hangs in the air. Is this the Mac that replaces them all? Because if the rumors are right, the M5 Mac Mini won't just challenge the Mac Studio. It might kill it. The secret of the M5 Mac Mini doesn't end with power. It begins there. Because behind every number, every benchmark, and every whispered leak lies a strategy that's far bigger than any single desktop. Apple isn't just building a new computer. They're quietly rewriting the rules of what a computer even is. The real story of the M5 Mac Mini isn't about chips, cores, or clock speeds. It's about control. Control over performance. Control over AI. And most importantly, control over the future of the Mac ecosystem. For years, Apple's smallest desktop was treated like an afterthought, a convenient little machine for people who didn't need the big, shiny gear. But that time is over. The M5 Mini changes everything. When you step back and look at Apple's long-term pattern, you see something fascinating. Every few years, they take the product everyone underestimates and turn it into the center of their strategy. The iPad was a casual tablet until it became the creative hub. The Apple Watch was a fashion gadget until it became a health powerhouse. And now, the Mac Mini, once the humble entry-level box, is being groomed to become the heart of Apple's artificial intelligence revolution. Why? Because Apple knows something the rest of the industry is just waking up to. AI doesn't live in the cloud anymore. It lives on your desk. See, every company in Silicon Valley is racing to build smarter, faster, more connected devices. But most of them rely on massive data centers. They depend on your information traveling through servers, bouncing between locations, being analyzed and stored somewhere you'll never see. Apple is taking the opposite route. They want your AI to live next to you, on your machine, inside your ecosystem, safe, local, and private. And the M5 Mac Mini is their Trojan horse. 
The new neural engine isn't just about better photo editing or faster video rendering. It's a cornerstone of what Apple calls Apple intelligence. Imagine this. You walk into your workspace and your entire system already knows what you need. Your files are organized. Your apps are ready. You are tasks summarized. Your notes cleaned up. It feels alive. It feels personal. That's not the cloud doing the work. It's the neural core inside that silent silver box on your desk. Apple's vision is bold. They want every home and every office to have a local AI hub, a private supercomputer that talks to your iPhone, your iPad, your MacBook, your Vision Pro, even your HomePod. It processes your requests before they ever reach the cloud. It predicts, adapts, and responds to you in real time. That's the power the M5 Mac Mini is hiding under its minimalist shell. And yet, Apple hasn't said a single word publicly about it. Why? Because if they do, they risk killing the very products they're still selling today. The M5 Mini doesn't just compete with other desktops. It threatens Apple's own lineup. If this tiny machine truly offers near-studio performance, if it really bridges that gap between consumer and pro hardware, then what happens to the Mac Studio? What happens to the higher-end MacBook Pros? Apple's internal challenge is delicate. They've built a monster, but they can't show it yet. The M5 Mac Mini isn't just powerful, it's disruptive. It's the product that forces Apple to admit that raw power can come in small packages and that the future of desktop computing might be smaller, cooler, and cheaper than anyone expected. 